I am not cold and I'm not as that time. I want more of God. The Watchers Hub Network invites you to the Born Servants of Christ Night Vigil with a heavenly mandate to watch over the nations globally, calling men to the place of prayer, calling saints to the priesthood order, and calling men to the inheritance in Christ. Identify one, identify, locate them low where they are now. Mantela, recapre soza cavilato, racatela caprato vavaya, recapa paruataba, licaparato vavaya. Do not join us every Friday from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. at the CPF House along Parliament Road in Nairobi CBD. Hosted by Charles and George, the waters have major, secure, terrible. The topic for today was the paths of wealth. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correct, the paths of wealth. I, I love speaking about uh, this topic because, number one, I have been helped by God. Uh, and for me, I know there is no paper that has put me where I am. There is no generational wealth that has put me where I am. But it is the hand of God. You know, you can look at yourself and trace yourself to Ujiangalia uone penye chemi chemi ya kenye ukonayo ukose. I trace back. I look at my father's side. I look at my mother's side and I'm like, so where did this thing come from? But then you're looking at a system or... um a world that is changing now and again. And so today we're going to be looking at a number of things. And before I say anything, uh, this is what I will say. I will say three things or four things. Number one, wealth is very... No, number one, life is so spiritual. If you have never heard of life being spiritual or you have never believed that life is spiritual, Life is more spiritual than we think or we take it casually. What do I mean? This is what I mean. Anytime that you appear in the place of prayer, what you are doing is that you are changing the surrounding by speaking to your heaven. And that means when you tell heaven, this is what I shut. It is shut here on earth. This is what I release. It is released here on earth. And so we control our lives. We control our surrounding with our mouth, with our thoughts, and more so what we, we actually think. Number two, wealth is more spiritual than we know. Even if you're not born again, the problem that is the problem that we have is that the scripture of you are neither cold nor hot. It is so dangerous to be in the middle, to be lukewarm, even in the economical world. That means hauko kwa mungu na hauko kwa shetani. Huko, huko hapa katikati ya line, huko juu ya line. Hauko pande ya mungu na hauko pande ya shetani. So when this when when god is looking on this side he's like uh, you are not my own the devil is your father and then shetani akiwa pande ile yenyewe anasema you are not on this side so uko katikati and that's why when someone gets born again the first few days of being born again the battles intensifies because one you have come from a world that you have rejected and once you re once you say in once you pronounce with your mouth and you believe with your heart that Jesus is lord the kingdom of the enemy huwa inakutapika inakuambia okay you have left ni kama uambie mzazi wako mimi sitaki kukaa kwa hii nyumba na utoke na uende ukiwa kwa barabara kuna mahali kuna mto na kuna mahali kuna mlima so the acceptance of you on the other side will be the, the advantage of you 
when you're on this other side, it is by the word of God that you know. Remember what happened when you get born again is that you are now a new creature. You are now a new creation. And so what you had on this other side, it takes time for it to be, to be deleted from your hard drive. And so Romans 12 is speaking, is speaking about the renewing of your mind, the reformatting of your brain system, the in installation of a new software. A new software takes time before it can, it can be installed, even on your phone, when you're installing a new application or when you're installing a new Windows. Let's put it Windows. So I used to have a disk, yeah, Windows, because computers are Windows, zinakuwaga very, Windows imekufa, Windows ime crash, sijui imekuliwa na virus, and so I used to always have a, a Windows CD. And so I would just, if, if, if anything messes, I would re flab, format the thing and then install new Windows. And so I used to have a hard drive partition for my document and stuff. So every time I format the C drive, that the other drives were not affected. So what happens is that when you receive Christ, the time it takes for you to install the new system it is what gives you an advantage, ya haraka. So the, the, faster you, the faster you install the new software and the faster that you reformat and renew, renew, renew your mind, the more of an advantage you become to your life. And so wealth is more spiritual than we think. Number two, everyone is helped by a spirit. Actually, number three. Everyone is helped by a spirit. So, kuna mtu wako uko inje unasema, you want to say, ah, but that guy does not even go to church, he does not know God, but he's, he's living better. Actually, this is the statement that when you look at two people who are born again and someone who is not born again, you'll find that someone who is not born again has an advantage more than a believer. And so, the reason why we feel it is good for us to teach this is because we don't want to be a church or we don't want to be a, 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 a group of people who are prayer warriors but they are poor there is nothing dangerous as a person who is a prayer warrior but has nothing in their pocket or they don't have nothing in their name because money answers all all things and money also i think is in ecclesiastes that talks about that money is a defense the same way that your wealth can the same way that your 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 the knowledge you have can help you is the same way that money can help you in defense because you cannot hire a lawyer without money even if you're on the right, you see, the people who go to court, they are not always wrong and right. They, they are not always wrong. You find people that are, you going to court because you have a piece of land. It is yours. You bought it with your own money. But then, someone decided to come with a copy of a title deed. Kama ile enye tuliona ya uko, I think it's Kiambu. So the governor is saying, 40 acres tunataka. Na nanyanganya wazungu. Na wazungu wakiwa UK wakatoa statement wakasema, di... The, the governor of uh, uh, Kambu, and this land is around us. So, unapata ule mtu, that person, the land is theirs, but kuna mtu anataka kuchukua that land. And so, you can have property, but you need to defend yourself and come and prove your point. But you need money so that it can help you defend and acquire what is rightly for you as. Okay? So, everyone is helped by a spirit. And so what does that mean? It means even the unbeliever, there is always a spirit that is helping them to acquire wealth. Every, everyone who is successful has been helped by a spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verses 25, it says, since we are living by the spirit. Hi. Now, this is where now we start studying scripture as is. So you and I, we are here and we believe and we know 
that we have been filled by the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you have ever heard this scripture and I think it's more reality, real than now what I'm saying. Mtu anakuambiaga I am born again, I am spirit filled, I am a chaser of demons. So that one now states I don't know if you when I got born again, that was like about 20 years ago. I I used to hear that a lot. And so when you want to to unakitaka kushtua watu na ukitaka kusimama by faith unajua ile ya kusimama like umeokoka and you want to tell people now this is me i'm born again you could not say anything but you you could not say anything else what you used to do is to say is i am born again i'm spirit filled i'm and i'm a chaser of, of demon i don't know how you, that one the last part used to end but it was something like that but then when we say that we are living by the spirit this means that when you got born again in that process you are filled with the spirit of god so that means that the spirit of god lives inside of you so we are all living in the spirit uh living by the spirit it continues to say let us follow the spirit's leading in every part of our life that is a translation called uh, nlt now listen to this part this is what i love that let us follow the spirit's leading in every part of our life so every part of our life it does not mean when you just come for prayer is when you engage spirit gear i think the biggest challenge in life of the life of a believer is combining the spiritual life and the physical life because actually it took me so many years for me to be able to combine nimeokoka it's like nilikuwa navaa kabuti ya kokovu ikifika mahali naitoa navaa kabuti ya kuingia kazi and i know this is a big challenge but now what does the bible say it, con- it says that follow the spirit's leading vile roho anakuongoza sasa hapa nasikia kama ninarudi kwa chachi yetu ya mashamba preaching in mother tongue because now this is sounding now if you if you know your mother tongue if you are not lost can you preach that verse in your own mother tongue what does he say being led by the spirit i think you ita, itaingia home that one knocks home yeah Now it says follow the spirit's leading. Vile roho anaku anakuelekeza. Hata Kiswahili is not making sense. This one I have to this one you have to say in mother tongue. Na unajua kuna mother tongues zingine unaweza jiuma ulimi. Jiulizaliwa town. So even in the business world even in the business world even in your career it does not exempt that part of your life. And so you wake up in the morning, your mind is blank. Hakuna kitu unajua. But then at the end of the day, this is one thing I I have learned in life that the time umefungua macho yako hivi bills inaanza kujicount. I don't know. I think most of you are uh, maybe a few people like 10 or 10, 10 less than 20% wanajua Donald Duck wengi hapo wanajua Coco Melon Donald Duck in the days those days the cartoon were animated somehow they were black and white so Donald Duck used to have when he sees something that is money formatted he used to change his eye uh, the what is it called the people the pupil and then it becomes the dollar sign so every time you wake up ukifungua tu hivi macho pesa zinaanza kushuka kama ulikuwa na 10000 kwa account umetoka tu hivi kitanda unatumia sabuni hiyo sabuni inaanza kui kuisha unatumia towel hiyo towel inaanza kuchafu kuchafuka unapitia jikoni so ulivaa nguo na zilikuwa zimeoshwa so zimeanza kui kuisha then unaingia jikoni unakula mkate na chai na bata zinaisha so if you do the same thing every day in the by the end of the month 
it will need you it will have inaitwa nini itakuwa imepunguka so you need to refill and so what do we do we ask the spirit of god ninasikia i have nothing and this is what happens when you live for long without having an income you start piling debts you you start going negative and that's what now is called debt and so when you are led by the spirit and we come and pray you we are here and we are filled with the holy spirit and we have the spirit of god but when you go home is you forget that you have the spirit of god but this is what i have come to learn because we live by the spirit the spirit helps us not only in prayer but he also helps us in matters to do with life in all things and so what you can do is that you can switch off from the the, the patterns of this world and switch on the holy spirit sit down with him sit down with him and you tell him now uh, i think my career has arrived at a place i need change now i need your direction you cannot do 7 days 21 days without him speaking and if you're sensitive enough he would drop you he would drop something in your spirit that will help you know how to generate an income the only thing that you need to do is that you need to shut down the things that communicates the truth of this world the knowledge of this world and get into a place of sitting with him to communicate to you the things that can allow you or empower you pertaining the things of wealth switch off your facebook switch off your tiktok switch off your instagram switch off your what's it called the whatsapp There was a time I have this I don't know if you guys know Nokia 3310 Nokia 3310 ni kama Mercedes Benz ya 19 1980 That phone was a phone Watcha this one is not even a Z fold The Nokia 3310 SIM card yenye ilikuwa inaingia kwa Nokia 3310 ilikuwa 2500 So yeah SIM card ilikuwa SIM card ilikuwa 2500 ya 3310. So I have a 3310. When I want to shut down everything, I remove my SIM card and I switch on 3310. Yeah. So that time you are like this one is if I die I die. This is the place where David left everything and he went to Kevadulam. And if you engage the spirit in that kind of a structure He would definitely come and whisper and the the challenge with the spirit of God is that you might decide that you're going to pray for 30 days or 21 days then he comes on day 2 na wewe unakufa huko na chakula na na na, na fasting the most important thing in a life of a believer is to discern when the spirit of God is speaking and what he is saying you don't want to be in a fast yenye The Holy Spirit spoke on day 1 you are on day you are on day 21 umekonda tumbo imeisha but then the spirit of god even spoke long time and you see he can even speak through a nobody he can speak with nobody with, with anezamua tu ukutane na mtu kama sasa you can find that uko tu kwa station kwa kwa kwa, kwa bus station then mtu tu akwambie ah usikie tu mtu ameongea mahali around about something but because ulikuwa wewe ni focused ni maombi mpaka uko kwa street uko maombi hakuna kitu unasikiza then you miss the move of god so what am i saying is that we need to always make sure that we are what is it called that we are, we we are we are making sure that the spirit of god is aware of what we are doing and that we are involving him in all our decisions so because we live by the spirit so let us also follow the leading of uh, the spirit in every part of our life so we go to our first story in the book of matthew 17:27 uh this is where now we find 
a story of Jesus and he's uh, approached by a couple of men who wanted some money from him and i wa Kenya hawapendi na ndio maana watu wengi walienda maandamano hawataki kulipa tax na literally don't you know that everything that we consume right now in Kenya is systemized and it's already taxed stima yenye tunatumia is taxed unaona unanunua token ya 1000 wanakupea token ya 600 hiyo pesa ingine yote inaenda kwa government then unapata, unapata your airtime airtime yenye unanunua somehow is taxed but you don't see it so jesus in this case amekuja ameitishwa tax and even the guy around him did not even have money to pay tax so 1727 says however we do not want to offend them these guys who came for the tax so go down to the lake and throw in a line open the mouth of the first fish you catch now listen to this there is an instruction that follows another instruction let me talk about something before i forget um and i think i've shared with one or two people here about what is happening right now if you have any kind of skill any kind of skill if you have any kind of fishing hook now listen these guys in this case they might have had they ha- they might they might not have had a, a fishing hook the tool here is the fishing hook that took them to the to the to the lake and catch the first fish so number one, these guys had a tool that means these guys had a skill that they could use to be able to get money from the fish so someone said that pesa equal there is money people have money the only skill you need is to know how to remove money from their wallets into your wallet now this is the case and i've sent it to a number of people if you have a skill you could be employed you could be in business but you know how to do a specific thing this is something i have learned so let's say uh let me give an example this guy knows how to design very nice logos very nice logos so the guy does not wait to go and look for company he does not go knocking on doors now look at this kind of marketing he does not go to safaricom or kcb or equity bank to knock on their door to tell them hey i do logos so i am looking for a job what does he do he goes on tiktok he creates a video of him redesigning safaricom logo now listen to this what he does He does not go directly to Safaricom to tell them I'm going to redesign your logo it's going to cost you this much. Let me give you a story of the most expensive logo in the world. CNN. Someone with a phone google how much CNN logo costed them. This one I give you you do it. You I want someone to give us a figure because I don't want to lie. And I forgot about the number because the number is extremely huge. So the first one CNN logo or bbc bbc or cnn logo you can search the two so i give the story you can shout once you're done because i i need to continue so he goes and picks the safaricom logo he redesigns it makes a video out of it and then at the end he says i make this kind of logos if you need one contact me and so i contacted him one day to do a logo he would give you three types of logos he even took the kk logo and redesigned it he even took terence creatives logo and redesigned it he even took g4s logo and redesigned it not because he wants to be paid by g4s but it's a way that he does his own marketing and so i contacted him and the guy tells me my logo goes for 5000 shillings if they, that guy do probably like 10 logos in a month how much money does that does that, that does that give him So, second guy is a guy who does a uh, video what are they called a uh, voice over for TVs and and radio stations. So he does not go knocking on radio stations and TVs 
to go and do voiceovers for them. What does he do? He goes and see there's a new Mercedes Benz. And so he's doing a Mercedes Benz uh, advert with a voiceover. So he's there with his mic and he does his voiceovers. And then he says, I do this kind of voiceover. So what does he, what is he doing? He's doing something that is called repackaging and packaging himself. So instead of him sending CVs, he's creating a profile that is making businesses come for him. What does he do? He's presenting himself to the world. So when you see him, actually he even did a voiceover for Rema. Rema Fest. And he did, okay, the details were not so much correct. But his voice, there are those voices you are listening in adverts of Boeing and Gulfstream and Ferraris. Ule mtu mwenye, unajua zile sauti zenye zinakuwa zimebarikiwa. Akifanya sauti unasikia ni kama imepakwa rangi ya, inetuwa nini? Ile rangi ya marangi. Yo hamjui, yo advert iliwa pita. Ya crown. So that's what he does. Tulipata nini? 1.8 million dollars for what? BBC or CNN? For BBC. Kenya shillings. Now, so hiyo ni ya BBC. Now, can you can you picture your BBC logo kwa TV yako? So I'm talking about skill. I'm talking about the hook the hook i'm not talking about the fishing net i'm talking about the hook you have what can you do so god want to use us and he want to advance his kingdom but to melalia maskio i was talking to my cousin this morning and so she got fired you know those kind of you know those kind of good jobs ile secretary anaenda kana kale ka high hill kenya kana kuwa na mukanye ina ka hivi You know that high hill? I bought my wife a couple of years ago. I I I was used to work for Jumia so they had these shoes they used to sell at 5000 and I think they, they they had a discount of flash sale and they were selling them at 1000. Very nice shoes, very high heels. Lizile zenye mtu anatembea ka unaona ni kama mugu ni ni kucha tu zimekanyaga chini. So my cousin was employed by this company, very big company. Uyo ni ule mwenye the companies around they have night shift day shift it's a big industry that has over 5000 employees so she got fired she had a very good job in hiyo ni ile yenye yeye ndio alikuwa na process payroll and everything so she had a very good salary and so she got fired so today i was talking with her and she started a, a catering company but it's not a catering company yet you know that thing that is born but is not even a baby is a what's it called the the one that is just conceived in the womb yeah it's 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 it, yeah the zygote that's that's the word so the company is the company is is still in that stage it has not yet she's she's doing it because she, she's doing it yes a baby yes because she's already doing it she's she's doing catering but it's not catering is cater is not Like it's just hey I cook for events so she told me I cook for events but then I call my my auntie and my my cousins and then we go cook then I'm like you see you need to see a bigger picture you, I ask her so do you have a company name and she told me no I was like no get a name okay number one, get a name the second time that you go to to cook get t-shirt and have them branded your your logo and everything and then go and get water and brand your own water put it executive and give it give it a body so what am i saying there are people here with skills and i use cooking as a, as as one of the examples i'm not saying is the lowest And so we had a big discussion i told her so i'll follow up with her in 2 3 weeks and i ask her what's the company name And then did you brand? Did you get somewhere? I even told her water is bought at around 18 shillings you sell it at 25 25 shillings to them. Okay? So I'm actually trying to see if we can generate revenue from this part of the business, generate this part of the business. 
in a five minutes call i had even told her get even business card and carry them together with you in the in the meeting because if you do if you have excellence if you are honest if you have integrity then you will fly with flying colors because that's what will that's what lacks in the business world so you have a hook to rudi kwa hook yetu ju bado atujaenda ku fish ile samaki yenye tuliambiwa na yesu okay ndio tulipe tax ndio tuache kukula tia gas tuache kuingia parliament what we want to do is first we need to go to the to the fishing hook so i want you to associate yourself to look for yourself here this is where you you journey and you dig in yourself and you see what kind of skill do you have some of us here we have more than three skills there's a business i always buy recipes from the i only buy those you know those recipes that they will tell you how to burn belly fat because i don't have one you should say yes i don't have amen, amen. and so when your wife says the other thing that you don't believe <laughs> you're in trouble so i always buy those recipes so apparently to rudy kwa recipe wacha kucheka mimi simi naingia ka jikoni so this company i'm giving you examples of life life cases examples so this guy or this lady what they did is that they 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 studied something they call nutrition i don't know what nutrition but it's nutrition so they did not wait for a job what they did is that they created recipes of different things and so they publish it on their website as a pdf and so what happens is that when you're searching on google and you're saying how to lose belly fat or how to gain weight or how to put on muscles they have their recipe there that is in pdf once you go on the website buy and pay at 250 shillings 500 shillings it goes to their mpesa so what am i saying this is a hook this is someone who decided i will not tamak and look for a job even if i'm going to look for a job i know this thing can give me money and so what do they do they created a recipe is the same pdf so it's not like they are going to be selling bread they are different from a company selling bread or milk because for them is the same thing on the website being downloaded again and again and again and they don't, they don't even have expenses of overhead for printing papers or printing a book or rewriting it again so their job is to make sure that they generate more recipes to cover many people who are coming on their website so that's another example then nipatia na ingine ama nisipatiane haya then there is this guy what he does is that he knows how to play the piano he's a nigerian i think a nigerian or a ghanian living in the uk every day what he has done he bought himself a keyboard i don't think that guy even have a job in the uk he bought himself a keyboard so what he does he would be on the keys live playing worship for more than 4 5 hours recording it on youtube and that's now where we go and download those keyboard songs keyboard sounds instrumentals and we use them in our places of work have you ever gone to these expensive hotels or expensive restaurants na kuna jazz ina inacheza unasikia ta i think with where the days have are going i'm coming to love jazz muziki pole pole like slow jazz actually i even googled and i even have a playlist of christian jazz instrumentals so when i am like slowing down my system i always go and play it so but then what does that guy do the guy has over his audios or instrumentals have over 1 million hits 1 million views he's in millions in viewership so every month youtube writes him a check and sends to him huyo mtu hata ukimwambia aende atafute kazi hawezi because even if atoke on the face of the earth aende 
YouTube will keep on sending him money to his account. Even when he's sleeping, there is money being generated by the system. So that is his hook. So I ask you a question. What is your hook? What is your hook? Joy is very good and very thorough. So a couple of, I think last year, last year but one, we had a big problem because I was managing everything of Watchers Hub and my, my own life and the life of my busy wife and the life of the kids. I was the everything. Everything. I remember the first conference, I was everything. Baka nilikuwa na sweat nikaambia my wife, buy me powder, baby powder. Because when I am on my laptop, I was managing the website, I was taking calls, I did even a voiceover for our first conference. So we saw it was very good that we start hiring someone. And so Joy decided, uh, let me just take the opportunity. And she came on board. So she's very, very good, very thorough. Joy can plan anything inside out without you even knowing. So she even got one of the big guys. One, I'm not going to mention name. One of the big guys was like, how do you guys run the system this smooth uh, without anything? So we said Joy helps us do this. Book uh, visas. The, the visa process of anyone coming to Kenya is so complicated and the visa process for anyone going to Nigeria is so complicated and it was even more complicated for COVID. You had to even book a COVID test in, in Nigeria. Like ukifika, lazima wende hosi uangaliwe after siju how many days. So Joy would do everything and so she got contracted by this guy. Uh, I don't know about how much the, she get paid but it's not about how much she get paid. It's about that person. You see, there are people who you try to get their phone number. Even if you are paying, it's hard to get it. But now she has access. And so when anyone wants to book that person, is Joy that gets the call. So what is Joy doing? She's building a network. Hey, I called you to book this. Could you please check his calendar and tell me if this guy is available? So what is happening? Beyond money, she's having connection. There is that hook. There is that thing that you are so good at. Probably you have not mastered it 100%, but you have somehow caught it. It's your hook. Ineza kuwa ni kushuka nywele. Ineza kuwa ni kueka makeup. Mwone lea kuchora watu. There's a guy in Nakuru, I go to his barber shop. I... If he's not there, I'm not shaving. Okay? That's the thing. The guy is good. He will talk to me. He will listen to me. But beyond that, talking and everything. Ata ukilipishwa miaine ama 1,000. Una feel kabisa. Na unalipa kampuni na you tip him. Because before he was, he became the guy who shaves. He used to be a, a, the guy who draws. What are they called? He used to be an artist. The guy would shave you. Mbaka usikie umenyolewa. Unajua kuna kinyuzi unaendaga na umenyolewa lakini haujanyolewa. Iyo mashini hakuna vile iyo mashini ili. Unajua kuna ile kisu. Unajua kuna ile kisu na let me because here mostly are ladies. Ile kisu ukikata skuma. Unasikia yes. Iyo skuma imekatika. Mbaka ikienda kwa meza. Mwenye anakula na kuambia enyewe. You have skill. Now I have to appreciate ladies because men I don't know if I'm the only one but the matters of the kitchen. Mimi kitchen ineza kuwa hapo na kusikue na mtu. I would stay hungry the whole day, but getting access to the kitchen is, even the food is there. Even warming the food is a problem. Actually, in my kitchen, I don't even know where the spoons are. The last time I found myself in the kitchen on Mother's Day, I burnt my finger. <laughs> How? Like... How do you even burn your finger? And these guys have been there morning, lunch, and dinner. So they have a special skill and a special hook that they don't even know. Wewe jaribu kupika samosa. Utashindua the ile kitu ya juu inaitwa nini? The crust. Ama inaitwa nini? Iyo unga. 
that triangle thing inaiviaga pande inaiviaga stage gani <laughs> na ni samosa so mimi probably i would say in cooking samosa you have to cook that thing first and then put the mince meat afu weke tomato sauce na pilipili hapo ndani but these guys they understand how this thing is done there is a lady i think in akuru we used to buy yeah hakuwa na kazi alikuwa anapikaga samosa we buy them in bulk so we put them in the freezer so every morning we would do our there is a lady on youtube i think on youtube or maybe on tuko anapika ka cha, chapo us sijui kama umemuona chapati moja i think anapika chapo ni 20 dollars or something and you have to spend more than 200 that's how much they are making so what am i saying i'm saying there are so many hooks that we have there are so many skills that we have as young people as christians that we need to utilize is just knowing how do you get out take that hook to the lake and fish now listen we continue to achana na mambo ya samosa the second part of this scripture is that it talks about go down to the lake and throw in the line open the mouth of the first fish now listen to this umeambiwa penye utapeleka your hook the next thing that you are taught is that there is an instruction of the first fish hakuambiwa fish ya pili ama hakuambiwa shika ya kwanza rudisha kama ni mtoto the next one what you do is that fish the second one kama angeambiwa the second one it could have been the second one but in this case aliambiwa the what the first fish so uh the mouth open the mouth of the first fish how alijulikana i think somehow they were they were christians juwali alijulikana tu if i send these guys to go and fish wanaweza kuja hapa na samaki tano okay so yesu alijua that these guys could have come with five five of the juu kama maybe disciples were twelve hiyo samaki wangeshika waende wakule inge watosha moja so alijua tu these guys would go and fish maybe twelve fish uh, like one i got this week appreciate my wife i had a fish enjoy by the way i ate a fish this week and so kama ajio niliambiwa na wewe usiende wewe unaniambia gari sikulage samaki wewe tupikage samaki hapa so so i had a fish in the week very nice and so he knew that because we are 12 of us uh, you can come with you you there is a possibility that you would come with 12 ndio kila mtu akule yake and so he told them the first one so it's a, it's a, it's, it's a what it's a it, it's an instruction that he received so they got the first fish got the money probably they even came with more than more than one And so what are we learning in this statement is that there is always an instruction when it comes to any kind of skill. One thing I have come to learn is that there is an evolution that happens in the business world. Leo, you could be a teacher or you could be a doctor or you could be a TV presenter. Come on my cousin, I was speaking with one of my cousins. I always love to talk to people Uh, when i want to learn things because when i when i the way i understand i came to understand is that i i the way i i know myself if i want to capture something fast i have to start speaking to people about specific things and so i'm speaking to my cousin so he does this kind of business paid in dollars uh and he makes a lot of money i think he has about 14 employees they work online uh they do online writing and so he has for him he has moved from now online writing He is doing something called he has his own website he receives he gets jobs and stuff and so he told me that the business is not as good because of ai and there's one thing that christians are very ignorant about when the internet came most people and i believe they were christians because by that time i was not matured enough is that i know they what they did is that most christians they knew and they said this is 666 and it's demonic i know that's what they say these are christians okay and so now we are in the age of ai and so 
what is happening, everything now is being changed to AI. The last thing I saw was this week that if you want to learn or understand the Kenyan constitution, there is a G GPT for constitution. There is one I pay, uh, I think I pay 50 shillings a day. It's called Wakili. Wakili, I think, .co.ke. If you want any kind of document to be generated, a legal document to be generated, the Wakili AI is a chatbot. It will generate the whole document for you. It will even give you legal advice. Like if, so you go there, type, Yo, this is my situation. It will act as your online lawyer before you can get your physical lawyer. So most Christians do not understand that there is an evolution happening. I think most of us here went to the school where we were taught about the homo sapiens, homo pithecus, homo habilis, homo what? Homo, then I think there was another one without the homo word. Ramapithecus and what? Astropithecus. Hapa kuna watu wamesoma historia. And so, the business world is the same thing. I don't know if you have received Safaricom calls, customer service calls. If you have a true caller, let me tell you what's happening. Bef when Safaricom started, it used to have a lot of customer service agents in Westlands. There were many, many young people. So they had a big office. I have gone to Safaricom office. The building has, I think it's building C. It's not the one on the Waiyaki. It's somewhere behind there. I think it's called Maziwa Road or something, or Brookside. The building is so huge. These guys have over more than 30 million subscribers. Empesa customers. So right now, what they have done is that they have revolutionized their structure of business. If you have called, if you have called Safaricom of late, or if Safaricom has called you on true caller, it does not say Safaricom. It tells you VWare. So what is VWare? VWare is a Safaricom system. It's not a Safaricom system. I think they have bought it somehow. They have integrated the system with their own system. And so the customer service agents, they work from home. Now, look at the way the business started. You had to be in customer service office floor with over 2,000 agents working at the same time. And you have to be logged in on your dialer to receive call or make calls, right? So right now, the evolution has happened and these guys are working from home. They just need to connect to the server with the computer so that they can be able to dial using the 07, is it 200, So even if when they call you from their own home, you will not know unless uskie moja mtoto wakilia uko kando. Actually, that's what I discovered. So I went online and I studied. So what is this VWare? How does it work? Because I always love learning about new things. And so... If you're in any kind of industry, we were discussing with the media team because we are building up on something in the week. And so we were talking about uh, animation. And so animation was like, before you could generate a hand of a person, leave alone the body of a person in animation. In the last, I think, five or 10 years time, it used to take you more than five days or more than one week. Right now, Unenda to online, una type what you want. It animates what you want. On, I think it was on Mother's Day. I just went on this platform and I told this platform, generate a song for my wife. And I have two songs. If you want me to send you, I'll send you. So I have already done two songs. And I did it with less than two minutes, with less than 10 minutes. Two songs. A whole chorus of joys. <laughs> and so, what is happening with this current? So, that song, when I used to be, when I used to sing, to record Wimbo Moja, na more than one month. 
mnaenda siku ya kwanza producer na wasikiza anawaambia hizo sauti zenu mnaweza tafuta dada mumweke ndani afu nyinyi mkuje muingie huko katikati and so a song we even had a manager the manager used to go to the studio first go book go look for t- studio sessions and stuff right now i can do a song in less than with everything mastered everything chorus vocals audio and everything mastered in less than 10 minutes so what are we learning about is that there is a shift tunasema the shift of the kama sasa nilieka post kwa facebook leo mtu akaniuliza are we ascending tonight <laughs> nikacheka nikamwambia yes we are ascending tribe so apart from now ascending there is evolution i don't know if it's called evolution but there is that shift the things that we could make money with couple of years ago we cannot make money with those ideas and skills today so the most important thing i've ever learned is that always be ahead of everyone wacha watu waseme ai ni 666 study it now wewe you have the spirit of god who leads you in all things he will be able to position you in an industry that the advantage of you being ahead of others is that you always the first unakuwa wa kwanza kuingia kwa ile pool ya bethesda and so how much you get paid is not dictated by even the system there is no even system that dictates what you get paid is the is like the first guy who brought a tesla the guy ali leta tesla ikafika kwa port everyone in the port wakashindwa because kwa system hakuna vile unaweza tax or you can ask the guy to pay duty the guy paid 30 million was 30 million on duty alone is not the price of the car he paid duty like tax alilipa 30 million tesla the guy has been driving with an electric car by himself nilikutana nayo kitengela i was like what on earth is this and that one is actually a model what a model s x ya kitambo hata hiyo ilitengenezwa us kitambo sana hata tulibali sahau hiyo hata saizi watengenezi saizi wanatengeneza kitu inaitwa cyber truck tuachane na mambo ya tesla na cyber truck let's talk about what is happening right now I don't know if you have guys have seen Okay this one is more technical Sijui kama umeona usiku there is a specific day of the month yenye kunakuwa na kitu kama 30 or 40 or 100 stars zinaenda kazi zimefuatana Kuna mtu ameona hiyo usiku Okay hey, Mnakuwa ga wapi kwa nyumba usiku <laughs> So There is this guy I'm talking about being led by a spirit. Elon Musk is a South African. He started his own world of building games before even games were there. My son, I've told you before that my son hates our games, our times the I don't know if you kama nyinyi mlikuwa siku za Mario, PS1, PS2. Alikuwa ananiambia hizo games zenu zilikuwa they were 2D because you could only go this side jump and then turn and go this other side right now they are playing something that is called Fortnite they are playing something that is called Roblox Roblox they play with kids in other nations like he has a friend he plays with in in Ireland i had to go google where is Ireland like the island the iceland uko ju the technology has shifted and so elon musk born south african started uh, building a game sold it before even games were game he bought paypal which is the worst thing right now i don't like paypal is not one of my favorite is actually one of the worst payment services uh, he sold it bought tesla he fired everyone who was in tesla because they didn't believe that he, anyone could make an electric car without the petrol motor the petrol engine we fired everyone so right now 
Let me share this one before it comes and lands. So right now he has sent into space satellites that give internet, that give people internet access. So you don't have to wait for Safaricom to come and install your fiber links. So what he has done is that he's selling that gadget. It's called Starlink, the gadget. So it was selling about 100K a couple of months ago, I think last year when it was launched or this year. Now he's, the, the gadget is like, I think, 40 or 50,000. He actually reduced it again. So now you can go to Masai Mara with your own Starlink and have your internet access on top of your car. Higher. That one is old. He has sent other satellites in space. Zenye, you would be able to make phone calls. So war to Safaricom. Because Starlink will start, will bring those now satellites. So he's doing the test. So probably if you look on your phone, there's an app that locates satellites. So it will tell you on which day, what hour, those satellites are passing over Kenya. So Zinakujaka Zimefuatana and people are saying they are demonic stars. The end of the world. Stars Zylon Musk Zinapita. So what am I saying? Even Safaricom being the biggest business right now. The biggest business right now. There is a challenger. There is a challenger who is coming with a different concept. You see, the only, when, when NASA told, when, when Elon Musk told NASA, let's build a spacecraft that can shoot a rocket to space and come back. The launcher, it's called the launcher. The NASA said, that one is impossible. It, it can never happen. So he tried and failed, tried and failed. They would, they would send us a, a rocket to space, a satellite to space, and then it would come and crash. Actually, we have so many videos of Elon Musk satellites crashing, launchers crashing. But he did not give up. Right now, we are looking at a borderless communication service. That if you want to go to Uganda with your own Tesla SIM card, you don't have to be on roaming. Do you know how much data, how much 200 Mbps is when you're roaming? It's around 1,000 shillings. That one I cannot even pay. 200 Mbps. Afu, ukoko WhatsApp group kumi. Uingie tu hivi, Uganda. Itakutumia SMS ikuambie, please top up. So what Elon Musk is doing, it could be expensive when he launches because it would be on a dollar rate card. But with time, we're looking at a day that probably Safaricom will be something like post office. You're right. So look at your career. Look at your career. And... Ask yourself, can you be called? I think in, in employment, there's something called redundance. Mm -hmm. Redundance is when your skill is no longer needed. Hakuna kitumbaya kama kukua retrenched. Hakuna kitumbaya kama ulikuwa CS. Then, saatisa news inamekiwa. Na ulikuwa na flight ya kwenda Paris. Business class. Na you are... Uh, not even your wife, your short wife, <laughs> your, you know, is it, is it, what is it called? No short wife, uh, second wife or girlfriend. So I was, I'm thinking this, probably there's a CS mwenye alikuwa mebukiwa kuenda kuona Paris. Do even the, the Gen Z in Paris have decided kuna team nasikia, tunakuja, tunasikia imekuja, inakuja, sijui supporting staff na imelipio 50 million. Supporting staff watu wakukimbia. Siata fadhali ulipie mama yao endi ya and so what are we looking at? Being redundant. So you could have an idea. So even when you're thinking of the idea that you have, think of something that you can learn that in a short time frame, you will not be declared redundant. The biggest shock of anyone's life is that soon the dollar is going to lose value. The dollar is going to lose value. And that one is not even a shocker. If you are in the financial market, you will understand that what is happening. There is a combination that was formed that is called the BRIC nation. 
So the Brazil is there, the Russia is there, South Africa is there, Braz uh, India is there. So the, they have taken the countries with the biggest populations. And so they are generating their own currency. Can you imagine, if you want to buy anything in China, you have to buy in dollar. And these guys are just making money for two countries that does not involve them in their own transaction. That we have to buy their own money to be able to buy from buy in a different country. So a lot of evolution is happening in the financial markets, in the business market, market in the career market. So if we do not have the help of the spirit, because what I believe, people like Elon Musk, they are helped by a spirit. If you look at these rich people, they will never say or declare that they know God. If you listen to Elon Musk, he will tell you, uh, I believe there is, uh, I think they call, they say, I believe there is a supernatural being or they tell you, I believe life is about energies or I believe life is about nature. I used to listen to this guy called Richard Branson a couple of years ago. Richard Branson is the guy. Richard Branson is the guy. He has the Virgin Islands. He, he actually bought himself an island. He lives there with his son. And so Richard Branson is very inspiring. But go and Google what Richard Branson says about God. What they will never disclose to you is that there is a place that they visit or there is a place that they give to or there is a place that they have submitted to. And so, everyone who is wealthy, listen to guys like Billy Gates. The only thing, the difference between them and us is that for them, they can do anything. They can do anything. But a Christian cannot do anything. The anything is only in the tongue. The, the life of the, 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 the world of spirits, the, if, you want to, if you want to go deep, pastor na preaching go deeper. Man of God, go deeper. Yeah? You're not a Sunday school teacher, go deeper. Man of God, na inama na ye. If this is if you want to if you want to break even in life study the spirit life study the spirit life the way you can um let's go back so in the image and likeness of god god is a spirit and so he made us like him and so we are spirit we are spirits in human vessels. And so, we have a nature of spirit in us, which has more, which has more what? Uh, which has more capacity in us more than anything else. Someone said, I think doctors can tell us how much is water capacity in our body. 70? And the spirit of God hovered over the waters. And so? <laughs> ah! one, thing I, one thing me and my wife is that we have moments. We have moments when we laugh until tears come out. Tuko tu, tu mecheka. Mbaka unaona tu, nako na makeup. Mbaka na niambia, please, can you stop? Because I'm going to rub off my makeup yote. So, ha, ha. Afu najua ladies vile uwa na kata nini, machozi. Ha, ha. Ha. Ama kikunywa kitu. Bila nakunywa, nakunywa nika glassy, glassy ni foreign, foreign object. Ni F, F. Nero nini UFO? Sasa mmenitupa. Nilikuwa wapi go deeper? Nirudishwe. 
Oh yeah, twenty percent water. So this is to tell you, seventy percent. This is to tell you that your spirit man, who the Bible calls the inner man, has the capacity to overwhelm the the physical man. I was listening to this guy. He was talking about how to how to how to stop uh, masturbation and how to deal with porn. So the guy was very sharp. You know what he said? Stop feeding the, your spirit, your soul. Stop listening to music that feed that soul. Stop watching the things that feed that, that soul, that part of you. And by taking it into a fast, or I don't know what he called it, but it's something of like making it dry, making it foodless, have no food. So you are, you are starving it. You're not giving it. It kills the urge. It kills the, the desire. That even if when you look at, you know, there are those times that you get yourself into a system. It's like, actually he was saying that porn is worse than cocaine. Yes. So that means if we bring it back in Kenya, porn is worse than weed. So if you are watching porn, you are more than someone who is smoking weed. And so, the inner man, when the inner man is studied well, and when you, I also went to a place where I looked at how do you empower your inner man? How do you charge your spirit? Number one is by prayer. So this thing of, you see, he, we've been talking in a specific group on how uh, some very great men of God are fighting prayer and they are fighting tongues. But this is my question. When, if you put two believers, one believer who is praying in tongue and another believer who is not praying, who is more prone to the enemy. So, why are we fighting prayer instead of helping those who cannot pray how to pray? One thing I come to conclude is that a man can only fight where he has not yet reached or achieved. There is nobody who will ever fight anyone who is who they are above. And so, the spirit man, if you empower the spirit man by prayer, by the word of God, by fellowship. That's why we come to this place because when you come for this kind of meetings, when you come and find there is the atmosphere of prayer, atmosphere of worship, what you are doing without you knowing is that you are feeding your spirit man. You are, you are, Starting your, the engine of your spirit man. You're putting oil on your spirit man. And so, when you are seated or when you go home, the vibration in your system, they are not the vibration of Maria Kari or Jay-Z or Tupac Shakur or who is the latest? Beyonce or Kanye West. Zambe Yonigani. At your zombie. Shifura. Oh, Shifura. <laughs> Kuna hii ingine ni meona, inaitua? Anguka. Anguka nayo. So, umeka tu hivi. Unasikia tu. <laughs> Unajua hiyo zivu. You know that song. You know that song that is playing in your brain. You know, the, the brain is so, is so beautiful that even when you're sleeping, the brain is still playing. It's playing that song. So wewe na, umesema nini? Ha? Anguka na inacheza kwa kichwa. And if you're a man filled with the spirit of God, the moment you allow those languages start coming inside of you, because you are, you are receptive. You, you, are, you, you receive, you are a receiver. So unapataka iyo wimbo imecheza kwa akili yako. 
mpaka tu umekaa hivi unas, unaona tu mtu ame kwanza sasa ukiona mtu akitingisha kichwa ujue huyo akore mingine huyo ameascend lakini ameascend in the wrong direction so anguka nayo imecheza kwa kichwa anguka nayo imecheza kwa kichwa what you did is that you fed the wrong man you fed the wrong person so turudi kwa topic if you really want to study the spirit world because even the bible talks about that our our warfare is not carnal then is that the other part that talks about we 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 wrestle not against flesh and blood but against who against what so if you want to win battles in your life battles in the business world or even in your physical life you really have to engage the spirit man because the rulers of darkness you cannot fight them in the flesh you can only empower your spirit man to be able to fight them so if you want to win on matters on wealth the most important thing above all above studying and everything you can study go online and look for these courses learn for something new and apply your hook but unless you have the spirit man speaking from you and within you and following what he's saying you will not be able to conquer in the spirit in the in the in the in the in the world of the in the world of what you will not be able to conquer in the physical world in the economy world and so now i have i have about let me tell you i have about four sermons this one was given when i was praying here i went outside to write it and we are even we have just read two scriptures i have about 100 scriptures okay so i actually have about five sermons so we are on the second scripture exodus chapter 36 and verse 1 let's read before i i give the story the lord has gifted bazarel 36:1 exodus The Lord has gifted Bezalel. Na hiyo jina ingine iko hapo. Holy up. And the other skilled craftsmen with wisdom and the ability to perform any task involved in building the sanctuary. Let them construct and furnish the tabernacle just as the Lord has commanded. So this guy I think we don't know about a lot about this guy or Holiab the guy or Bazarel but I think they had worked with the Lord for the Lord to give them that kind of skill So this testimony we go back to the testimony to talk about Bible we now wear the garment of testimony The kingdom of darkness is so determined to accomplish its purpose. The other day I was looking at uh, another video that was trending online on how much you know these guys on TikTok that are guys but they pose as ladies uh, like an avaga dress amefunga nywele ako na wig he change even the way they talk they are very famous they are on tiktok uh, not a lot on instagram because tiktok is the new thing and so some of them even do different colors lgbtq news is is that there is an office here in kenya that has put them on salary and they are paid 800,000 every month na sasa hao ni wenye tunajua then there is another system of probably they are pushing their agenda in Kenya and so what they did is that they look for influential people they put you on salary you don't have to be gay but what they tell you is that you need to dress this way you need to be talking about this way and this is how you direct your marketing this is how you catch your this is how you do your 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 your, your life Can you tell me how is it possible that someone has so much money that he is able to give you 50 lions 
Okay, kwa wenye hawako TikTok hawajui hiyo ni nini. So a lion I think is around what? 40 40 or 17,000 bob, right? So how is it possible that someone is able to give you money through a live How 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 is it possible? Even Morco menye mwenyewe hawezi. Hata kama ako na belt ya 50,000 na tie ya 20,000, hawezi tuma 50,000 kumi kwa mtu mmoja then the next day atume kumi ama tano kwa mtu mwingine it does not make even if you are employed by government so that means there is a place where that money is coming from and it's it has an agenda that we don't see with our naked eyes they have collected nine bodies of ladies in sacks in mokurukwa mokurukwa jenga So what I think is these girls they were used in a ritual. Hey, you know, I think I think tunaombaga sana tunatoka kwa tuna ascend, tunatoka duniani tunaacha kufikiria mambo zenye. Okay, this one is an eye is you, you have to have your eyes open, your spiritual eyes open for you to understand. So, there's a story that my wife sent me a couple of I think my wife sent me of uh, these guys from the west And so what they do they come to Kenya and because they want to offer sacrifice to their spirits to their altars and because they have covenants they come and take girls and because girls have uh, young girls have they want the latest iPhone unapata msichana hana kazi lakini yako na iPhone 15 Mimi hata nikieza uza 50 by 100 siwezi zenye niko nazo siwezi nunua hiyo iPhone na hana moja ako na iPhone 15 Pro Max ako na Samsung Fold na hana kazi Umoi jiuliza hiyo swali So this is what happens A phone a phone call you have a friend couple of friends I know most probably unaambiwa Okay hey niko na kazi na tunalipiwa ndege na tunapewa tutaenda Mombasa ama tutaenda Kisumu for three for three days so where where unalipiwa fare na ni rafiki yako actually this one is where, where you now need to watch your friends because even the person who sits next to you hey i think now this is where now you need to make sure that you don't get married to the wrong person because listen to the story the guys come in they jet in they have a lot of money it's not once or twice i've heard of people who are in kenya briefly and they have a lot of money in dollars and they are driving in big cars they have hired a car for like a, 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 a land rover for worth 30000 a day they have hired it for a whole month 30k a month 30k per day for the whole month of two months they have hired up airbnb that is 150000 a month and you don't question yourself so They pick up their phone and they say, "Hey, my friend, uh niko na mpango ya hii wiki." And so what I'm going to do, let me let's go to Mombasa. Wewe hata ukiwa na familia yako, utawacha tuache mambo ya familia. Wewe uko singlehood, singled, like when one. Ukilala kwa kitanda unalala peke yako. Ukienda nje ya gate uko peke yako. Umejaribu kulipa fare ya jumbo jet ya 5000 but unasikia kuna simu imepigwa unasikia kuna was, uh, jamaa tunaenda holiday Mombasa ni wasichana watatu uh, wanataka wasichana watatu and everything is provided food drinks and everything so wewe na kutojua msichana anaingia ndege na anapiga selfie sijui hiyo hainaka kwa heri Kenya ya Mombasa haina haina kwa heri Kenya ask yourself i don't know if you have this kind of friends of people in your socials mtu hajaemployiwa lakini Mombasa ameenda mara tano mwaka moja wewe hata shags kikope haujapita roiro haujapita 
Kiambu haujapita. DCI hapa haujapita. Mtu wewe uko kazi unamkaka asubuhi jioni na unabeba Mungu then kuna kuna mtu tu ameenda Mombasa mara tano. Unashindwa uso hi hi pesa kwani kwani Mungu ninakuwa nimekuweka wapi ama nina <laughs> unakuwa umeniweka wapi juu So they go to Mombasa the the ritual happens and so what they do they want is probably they want their dna or they want yeah dna so this is one is now in the video so dna is collected somehow dna is collected dna is collected through clothes is collected through uh, liquids body liquids dna is collected in different ways so they collect your dna they take it to a specific place you might not die there but a couple of days later you pff, you are when when the liquid or the dna was delivered on their altar it collected you because you are the sacrifice because you are the sacrifice and so nine bodies of ladies some of them were cut in pieces they were found in sacks like we have arrived in a place i'm not talking about 666 i'm not talking about 2030 i'm talking today how is it possible that human have become so cheap that someone can take a human body and cut it in pieces and put have the the strength to cut a human body and put in a sack even me he, a dog like kama umbo yetu ingekufa ai si ingezika na ujue boys ni wale wa ile bad bile like the boys can do anything kill a cat one day me and my grandfather we tried killing a cat ha, that thing nearly killed us i've never forgotten now imagine killing a human being so what did they want from kama even if it's it's torture that these girls went for for mandamano and they wanted information from them nine mimi tu unishike tu hivi unichome na jikoni na haki i say everything <laughs> i i saw an interview i think this day some girls they were arrested they were abducted wa jkwat and then walikuwa naulizwa password za laptop zao because the government was trying to get information on uh, who was leading this mandamano and so ati walipiga pigo kidogo wakatoa password haraka waligongwa wakatoa password password ya laptop so how does it happen ask yourself can this be trying to get information from nine people ata sisi wote hapa count nine. then mtu aulizwe aje the, the hardest secret utatoa tu yeah utatoa kama ule driver nasikiaga aliambiwa alisema gari imeisha break kuna wazee wako hapo na bibi yao wako hapo wakasema kama unataka kuambia bibi yako siri mwambie saa hizi because there's no way back we are descending bibi akasema watoto si wako bwana akasema oh hata niko na mwingine alafu driver akasema i was joking that one you don't leave the bra- <laughs> how do you even leave Bibi amekwambia watoto wako 17 ya si wako. Huyo driver anauliwa na watu wangapi? Huyo driver cannot be alive. Even <laughs> that driver cannot be alive. So now think of it this way that nine people they were killed. They were slaughtered and they were put in sacks. Where are we? Where have we headed to? It means that there was a ritual that was done and the equals of the sacrifice was nine human nine ladies nine ladies and so in the part that we have just read these guys they were gifted by the lord this is to tell you that if the lord can gift 
Even the enemy can also give to his own to equip them for the works. And in that testimony, he's talking about how this lady, very unlearned, she's taken to Mombasa. I'm cutting the story. I'm just giving you the story. So she's told, you're going to become very, very rich. We're going to give you everything that you need. They actually bought her a house in Milimani, in Akuru, one of the poshest estate. I think her house is around 120 m, 150 million. Uko akunaga 50 by 100 is one acre. Nyumba iko kwa one acre. The, lo- the short, the smallest iko kwa half an acre. And then behind you is the golf course. So she ended up doing what they wanted. I don't want to say it because if I say it, some people will not sleep. So for years, she would perform this specific ritual. And she would perform the ritual every day, every day, until she got used to it. So what am I saying is that the Lord is determined to equip us with skills. The enemy is equally, equally gifting Men and women on the other side of the world. Because the spirit is against the kingdom of God, is against the kingdom of darkness. And contrary, the kingdom of darkness is against the kingdom of God. So if the kingdom of God, because this is now where we know, and this is now what we believe is real. Jumungu akisema, I will equip you. We don't see it like in a ni kama in a nini kama kama dream. But Shetania kiangalia on the other side aseme, I want to give you everything so that you can do my work. So in the story, the lady is the lady teleports. I don't know what is it called. Astro proje- projects, and that thing is now what young people are learning in in schools. Even in Kenya, that thing is even happening. Unapatati, msichana alikuwa meandika to what, repeat this couple of times. Sijui, there's a lady in Iliona na ya alikuwa meita sister yake anaishi kwake. Uh, ame muambi, ame na mlipiaga ende shule. Afu when alimfukuza, akakuja akapata, akuna kakitabu chini ya kitanda yake haka meandikuwa repeat. Kwa meandikuwa three words, then I meambio repeat this every day, every day before you, you leave the bed and every day before you go to sleep. Astra projection. So, the lady teleports or whatever that thing is called. Anenda nanguka kwa kitanda ya a young boy mwenye kona dreams na kona life. Anenda na mgonga na spirit of masturbation. Pap! Then the guy does the thing. What he does not know is that there is the virtue released and the lady sent from the kingdom of darkness collects it and takes it there. So they are determined to do everything that is possible. When we come here and we hear that someone was in a dream and they traveled to stop an accident, then we are like, that now sounds demonic. So how comes that we believe the kingdom of darkness so much that we don't believe in the God that we say he's the God yesterday, today, and forever. And so in matters of wealth, the same thing. God so much wants to achieve his purpose on the face of the earth. He wants to make sure that he rescues every soul. And so he's giving men gifts, like this guy, Bazarel. Didn't your Bible say in Deuteronomy, is the Lord your God who gives you power to make wealth. Why can't we believe in that scripture before we believe that the devil sent his angels to come and plant tears when we sleep? Matters of wealth are as equal to matters of the spirit. That the Lord can look at you and just say, you are not gone to school. You don't have a degree. You don't even have a qualification to, you don't, 
even kizungu wewe na kizungu mulipitana kwa lami ya kwenu shule akasema yo wewe ulipanda tu your school fees kama tithe kwa shule yenu <laughs> na headmaster wenu akakula kizungu na wewe even ukienda america ile hata ile ya ya, ya inaitwa nini is that state Massachusetts haiwezi <laughs> toka so kizungu imeja, mungu anajua hiyo kabisa then he looks at you looks at your heart and looks at you and says you have arrived in the right place so what i'm going to do i'm going in your sleep i'm going to give you a gift i'm going to give you a gift that will help you live a good life help you to make my name glorified and help you with this skill that will also advance my kingdom unajua kuna mahali penye biblia huwa inasema and after they saw the numbers were increased kama kuna scripture najuaga hiyo ni ukweli kuna mtu kwa familia yenu hatawahi kubali ama hatawahi amini believe unajua ka believe believe like faith believe in your own family that you are born again until they see what the lord has done in your life there is salvation that will never come in your family or never come in our generation until they see what the lord is doing in your life so beyond everything The Lord gives gifts. So hapianagi tu zenye tu zimeandikwa kwa Biblia za the spirit the, the fruit the, the gift of the spirit. He also gives gifts. And these guys they had worked with the Lord to some point that they had worked with the Lord until wakapatiwa gifts. So Mungu alikuwa anajua nilikuwa nataka tabana kwa yangu ijengwe. I wanted my temple the, this was actually the, the completion of the temple the sanctuary and so they were supposed to construct it and furnish the tabernacle just as the lord had commanded mimi naona tufikishe hapo because eh uh, hata someone haijafika hatujaenda hata number one. hatujaenda number one. so what am i saying the lord we saw in matthew that jesus gave instruction for these guys to go and to, lazima tunge involve pesa hapo kwa sababu mungesema maybe alikuwa anawaambia wa, waende wakafish ndio wakule hiyo samaki lakini in this case tunapata wali ambiwa take the hook go to the lake fish and take money the two coins from the mouth of the first fish so mungu akona uwezo ya kukutupatia skills zenye zinaweza tuwezesha ku to empower our own life make our life better and empower us to glorify him in what we have and also help us help he, help this is actually we, we we advance his kingdom there's no way that we can say we help god to advance his kingdom it would be wrong english and so anataka advancement ya kingdom and you see there are some things we pray about in church if, even here there are things that we see mistakes that we see in church but for me i decided me i will never say the church has this kind of mistake because we ended up somewhere young people were gathered in thousands and the guy who was preaching was young and alikuwa anatoa kanisa makosa umwai enda ka, kanisa kuna preachiwa umekaa hapa mbele unasikia kama unaweza kunja kichwa uende chini ya kiti and so there are so there are things that we see in church that are errors but what if we are the reason for those errors because we have been we have delayed to enter into our calling to be able to clean up whatever we see that is wrong and so there are so many wrong things that we see But what is happening is that we have no capacity to we have not yet arrived to the place of now making those changes in the physical as much as we are men of the spirit 
and women of the Spirit. We should not limit the Holy Spirit in things that pertains wealth. Whatever you have, I don't know, from when we started talking until now, you know your hook. You probably know what you need to go and do. You probably have no clue of what is happening in your life. If you have an income, thank you. But there is no wrong thing about having a second income. Amen. There is no wrong thing about securing your future. Yes. I will talk on generation wealth uh, maybe before the end of the year. And I will talk about how you can grow literal by literal. I will talk about how you can put money in specific kind of investments. Then it idea in with time. One time we sold one piece of land. I think we sold like 1.8 1. 1. million. I think that money did not last us for three months. Na hata siwezi kuambia what we did with the money. I think we paid, we, we built a structure, a car, a car shed, and the other, the others I don't know. So what am I saying? I'm saying that blowing any kind of money is very easy. But you can take pesa yako kidogo by kidogo. There are people the best thing right now is if you have money, you have power. The advantage you have, utenda mahali uambiwe, this is 50 acres, and this is the price of 50 acres. And this is the concept we have used. So you would go to an agreement, and then this guy would tell you, pay this land with eight years. And then you go to a lawyer, they you deposit the, they deposit the title deed you put down a deposit and every month you commit and pay something you pay something in the legal agreement you say once i reach x amount in investment i can start putting around a fence i can build a permanent structure that you are not limited to develop or farm the land is yours so those are some of the kind of things that you put in an agreement and so you Unaenda mahali mbali it can be kwenu home but you buy something small big long term you put your money pole pole you sacrifice yourself for one or two years by the end of the first year you are able to farm start putting money now to farm generate income from it so some of those things i will talk about them uh, later on but tonight we were just talking about skill the hook and that God is able to use the hook you have to get the two pennies from the mouth of the fish. And beyond that, he's that also that he's a gifter. Not only with the gift of the spirit, but also he can gift you with skills that are able to help you in your life and actually build the kingdom of God. So hiyo sermon ilikuwa ya, ya Holy Spirit hiyo nilipewa hapo hiyo ilikuwa fresh hata sija, sija siko na ile I have like two I did yesterday and the day before and I have other like three that I did like before maandamano And so I've not even touched it but I hope you have listened to something Amen. I hope I did not bore you no. No. I hope you did not sleep Wait until we start talking about the waterfall method. Now, the waterfall method is what people are using. This one is more advanced. Um, this one is, is serious. Someone approached me with it uh, last year, and I thought this is just an amazing concept. If you hear you sell uh, insurance, um, we would love to engage you. We would like to listen to some of the insurance policies that the insurance companies offer. Because there is something that we can buy from a lot of people here. There are people here with skills. There are people here with uh, experiences. They are here, there are some people here with connections. So when we tell you, uh, network with people that come here. Here people are learned. And Hey, we listen to some people. Unasikia mtu, like there's a testimony that came in 
uh, this guy came in, he had given up on salvation. He came in here, prayed. He was like just coming to please a friend. Because unajua ile ya kuinvite wa una kuja ku ndio si break heart ya huyo mwenye ameku invite so una appear then the guy comes and he had given up with christianity hiyo ni ile yenye umeweka umekelea boot kama zile za the soldiers of david hiyo inakoka kwa songs of solomon so na umekafunga like his salvation stuck in mambo ya hiki kitu then the guy comes here i think after i think he came in here last year and then I think he didn't have a job and something and then he applied for this uh I think a lecturer or something in the US in the in a university in the US and he got the opportunity I think they are preparing his uh visa and movements by, uh, to the US now he's migrating So God can locate you anywhere you are located anywhere that you are seated The guy had a hook The guy had a had a hook. And so the only thing that he needed to do is align himself with the word of God. Align himself in the right place. And so God just looked at him and he was like, I need advancement in the UK, the US. So let's just gift you. Why is God gifting men, nations as inheritance? Is because he's like I need you to do something right there even if it's one person you're going for I will pay all expenses paid up there So to fikisha hapo and I hope that you picked up something from this and I hope the most important thing is that person who is intentional like you are determined to change even pesa kama hauna determination ya kuwa wealthy hiyo forget ni kama tu ile wa Kristo wenye wanakuaga like ule mkristo mwenye niliwaambia ana ye yeah, anajua ameokoka na anaishi Yesu ni bwana na anaendaka kanisa that's it bible ikifika kanisa ndio uwe inafunguliwa maombi ikifika kanisa ni pasa ndio ana huwa anaomba huyo mtu umweke pamoja na mtu mwenye ako determined kubadilika ndio maana unapataka watu wako church uko church five years kuna mtu amekuja 3 months na amechomoka. Unashindwa kwani Mungu wangu si Mungu wako. It's because determination. Like even if this is a wall, my God can take me through walls. Ile unajua hata kama kuna ukuta, my God will take me through walls. I think that is Psalms it's repeated twice in the Bible. It's I think in Psalms and what? And uh, is it Exodus? Huh? Psalm 18. Yeah. Determination. Like you are determined to change. Kama tutabadilisha whatever it is the face and the the face of the church. Kama tutabadilisha our own lives. We have to be determined to change. I will talk about mastering. Being a master of what you do like being above everything that you do we will talk about it but let's uh, stand on our feet we conclude and we pray when i used to be young uh, we used to have in our church where god born again there was a, an altar call those altar calls they meant so much for me there, there are days that even i didn't wait for the preacher i used to be number one altar call I don't want to make that kind of altar call. Those ones you used to come in the front and uh we pray. But I want you to search in your heart and you're like I think the spirit of God is speaking something towards my life and you're saying uh this is I want this. I want this. I want to engage a different gear with the Holy Spirit. I want to I want an impact or I want Uh, I think I would use the word empowerment in my financial life. If you're there you just say that is me. I want you to just whisper something to God and you tell him this is your this is you and God. This is you and God. And this this is a prayer you pray and then you're like two years down the line. Hey, I remember that someone it was funny but this thing just 
it just changed, it just impacted my life. It just knocked me off. So you're there, you're saying, Lord, this is this is me. I came on the cross, I brought myself on that cross. I brought myself on that altar, the cross, the altar. And I need change. I need change. I need change. I need change. Father, in the name of Jesus, there is that grace. There is that grace of our Lord Jesus. The grace that made him to become poor that we might be rich. Let that grace rest upon each and every one of us in this place. With the understanding of the Spirit, Father, let that grace abide in our lives. Let that power to make wealth enter our lives tonight. Let that power, the ability to make wealth enter our lives tonight. We pray, Father, for that blessing, the blessing that makes rich, that blessing that makes rich, that makes men wealthy. Lord, I pray for that wealth, that for that grace, for that power, for that ability, for that blessing over our lives tonight. You are gracious, O oh God. We acknowledge you, Father, in all our ways. In all our ways, Holy Spirit of God, lead us, lead us, and oh God, give men, gift men, gift women in this place, oh God, with skills that are beyond redundancy, that are timely, oh God. Let them be received in the time of sleep. Let them be received when they are having their networks, when they are fellowshipping, when they are in the place of prayer, when they are in their workplaces. Lord, we have testimonies of you using men and women with as little as peanuts and making them global ambassadors of your kingdom. And Lord, tonight, that hand is not short. Let that hand, the same hand that was upon Joseph, let that hand, let that grace be upon your servants tonight. As a sign of sacrifice, Lord, tonight, we abandon our beds because, Lord, we have faith in you. We have expectations, Father, from your heaven. I pray, Father, that you change the stories of men you have changed our lives you have changed the lives of many in this place my God do not allow that this year ends when we are still in the same state give men nations for inheritance open doors open gates in the spiritual and in the physical in the name of Jesus my God give a man give a woman a testimony tonight Give a man, a woman, a testimony, a lifetime testimony that they will always say, I was this, but now you have changed me. Now I am this. Shift men and women in realms, in their prayer life, in their communication with the Spirit. Build their inner man. Build the spirit man. Let them understand the language of the spirit. Let them understand when the spirit says yes. Let them understand when you say and you speak and whisper to them. Let them understand your voice and know when you speak. Let them know your will, your perfect, your good, your pleasing, perfect will, O oh God. Thank you, Father, for everyone in this place. I speak a blessing upon them, the blessing that makes rich, the blessing that may add no sorrow. Let the ability and the gift to multiply money, multiply wealth be upon them. 
We will not a church that will settle for less. We will not be a congregation, a gathering that will be prayerful and poor. We strive and we we, we, we pray that the spirit of excellence, the spirit of mastery will be upon our lives and what we do. We ask you, Father, that may you allow your spirit to enter us again this night. Empower us and equip us. Let it be that when we look at ourselves, we see a change and we experience the change even in our physical, our financial, and our lives. Anyone here in their lowest moment, Lord, anyone here with their lowest moment, that in the position that we are, the date that we are in, they don't have even rent or they don't even have food. My God, let it be a testimony. Let it be a testimony that you have changed men before. You have picked men from grass and you have dropped them to the place called grace. Anoint men, Lord. Let the oil that changes the life of men be poured now in our lives. The same oil, the same oil that was upon David, that same oil that makes the cup overflow, let that cup, let that cup overflow now. We download all possibilities now in this, from the spiritual realm into our physical realm. man's dream or every woman's dream or every family's dream is to own a piece of land. There is this thing that is always in my life of whoever came with 50, the concept of 50 by 100 is demonic, is evil. What we release now is acres of land. There's actually a thing that is called, there's a, a quote I'm doing of a guy who wants land. So apparently, title deed says hectares. Hectares are bigger than acres. So, I don't know who brought from hectares, acres, 50 by 100. What I release is hectares. Even if it's going to be far away. Far away. You see, with land, what happens is that today you can buy one acre for 60,000 or 30,000. Five years down the line is going to be a million. That is the thing with land. So the grace that gives men land, soil, may that grace be released tonight in Jesus' name. That one does not even need an amen because when the Lord says, I will give land in, in hectares, he will give land in hectares. It might be you don't even, you see, most of the time we look at things and we are like, how am I going to even raise money for those kind of hectares? Did we forget that God is the gifter of men? I have, I know there is a grace. There is a possibility of someone waking up to you and telling you, this 40 acres, this one, I don't see value in them now. You take it and do whatever you want. Uh, sign the... You need to just know what documents do you need. Like one person, they were blessed with a guy and they brought me a, a logbook. And they were like, can you tell me if this is an original logbook? <laughs> so, when you walk, walk like... Even if you don't have... Walk like the owner of someone with 60 acres in Suswa. 100 acres in Kitui, Mwala. You need to start going and googling those places and seeing what is the value of land. And you see, when, you, when you're very persistent, you even tell God. You even put God to test. You know that verse in Malachi that says, test me. It's one place that God says, he tells you now, I am in a position of God, but now because you're also a God, uh, test me. So you're telling God, Lord, I want to be to 
have X amount of money by December. He might not give you that money, but he can say, this acres of land in Kajiado, in Tiboloa, in Timboroa, this in Bomet, just go and have them. So where we come a wise person, unenda unakaa na five years, unakata nusu, unauza, unakuja unanunua shamba, wande kama nusu. Uh, mahali na unajenga na nyumba yako ya four bedroom ya white modern house na unaweka bathtub ndio ukianza kufanya what i don't know my, what my wife says is called ile kitu ya ku you are want to challenge yourself you put ice cubes in a bathtub when you are here challenge yourself the only thing that she challenges me is how to shower with cold water so that grace of hectares released you just need to be you just need to to know to tell god i need i need x amount of money by this age to talk more about the office of priesthood hapa kuna watu wako na title need they don't even know what to do you can if you have a land that is worth more money they, and you're not developing is not giving you money sell it go and buy somewhere far then jenga kanyumba tafuta kijana anataka mshahara mlipaka 10000 every mwezi nunua tumbuzi tunaitwa nini the black headed thing ah dopa yeah buy to toto to dopa ama to toto to bulls tuma huko december your small bull baby bull ilisha kuwa ikakuwa kubwa enda iwekelewe kwa wing scale uza kwa butchery enda dubai nunua vitu kuja uze shamba uko na 20 acres iko na huko mbali uko na ngombe huko na tumbuzi tudogo tunakuwa katu pole pole afu upande miki one, or miti one side of the acre miti moja ni pesa ngapi ikikujiwa so hizi ni vitu zenye ni vitu zenye hakuna mtu anaweza kukuambia but if you look at Kenyatta and Uhuru family all they do is that they just buy land and they make trees and they put cattle mbuzi huko hata zenye hawajui mbuzi ni kapi hata ikikuliwa na simba hawajui may that grace be released upon each and every one of us by the end of the year or the time that you have given god may it be released in form of monetary value or title deeds being delivered if you have to buy them if you have the money to buy them god increase that money so that he can also give you so that by the time you receive when you're giving the first the 10% you already have enough for it so in jesus mighty name someone celebrate god